Hi, I'm Chris Mercer, CEO at Mercer Capital, a national business valuation firm. I'm at the worldwide headquarters of Mercer Capital in Memphis, Tennessee today, and I'd like to talk to you about buy-sell agreements. I'd like to talk to you as an owner of a successful closely held or family business. Your value, your company's value may be a few million dollars, it may be a few tens of millions, a few hundreds of millions, or even a few billions. All of these kinds of companies are in our client base. What I'd like to tell you about is five things about a buy-sell agreement. First, they require agreement about important things from business and personal points of view at a point in time. In other words, you have to have an agreement to have a buy-sell agreement. That's the definition. Secondly, they uh, require agreement today about things that will or may occur in the future. In other words, they involve future thinking. We have to sit here today, regardless of how difficult it may be, regardless of how, how tall someone is or how short, how wide or how thin, how rich or how poor, how much stock or how little stock they own, we still have to reach agreement at a point in time. The third thing is that buy-sell agreements talk about the things that trigger them. In other words, the events in life, the bad things that happen to people, uh, even good people, that trigger the provisions of your buy-sell agreement. What are those? You may quit, you may be fired, you may die, you may retire, you may divorce, you may become disabled. All of these kinds of things and many others that you need to talk about in terms of your buy-sell agreement. So they relate to the trigger events. Fourth, they determine the price or the prices and the terms of the transactions that will or may occur at some point in the future. And finally, they determine the financing or the availability of financing or the means of financing to effect those future transactions. Let me tell you this. If you don't have agreement, your buy-sell agreement won't be good. Chances are, even if you have a buy-sell agreement, based on my experience, it won't work the way you think that it will. So if you want to talk about your buy-sell agreement, give me a call or give me a contact right here at my email address and let's talk a little bit about your buy-sell agreement and what uh, can be done to make sure that it will achieve a reasonable resolution for you if and when it's triggered.